On February 26, 2022, Trinity Church celebrated the ministry of the Reverend Philip Albert Jackson as the 19th rector of Trinity Church. To come together as a community and to experience and be part of ritual, an old ritual, I think is deeply moving for all of us. First, we have the induction as it's practiced at Trinity Church. And in that induction, the church warden presents the rector with the keys to the church as a symbol of the secular authority, the temporal authority that the rector now has over the church properties. After the induction, there was the longest procession Trinity's ever seen in this service. First cross and torches are Trinity Church. The second cross and torches are for St. Paul's Chapel. And the third cross and torches represent the 915 family service in the parish hall. And then the institution itself, which is about the relationship to the bishop and the diocese and the role of a priest to their congregation, that happens on the inside. And that coincides with the litany for ordinations. That great prayer is sung over the rector. After that, there is the presentation of symbolic gifts. The church wardens present him with the charter of Trinity Church. He receives a Bible from members of the congregation. He receives the holy oil from the sisters of St. Margaret, right? The nuns who work alongside us. He receives the gift of water to recall our shared baptismal ministry. He receives peppercorns from representatives from across the Anglican communion. He receives a basketball from a member of the Leadership High School basketball team who's playing in our new basketball court in Trinity Commons. He receives a directory of the Trinity Church staff from members of the staff. All of these things are symbolic of the ministry to which he has been called. There is this extraordinary prayer, a real prayer of humility that begins, Lord, I am not worthy that you should come, you come under, under my, my roof. roof. Yet you have called your servant to stand in your house and to serve at your altar. Make me an instrument of your salvation for the people entrusted to my care. Greet your new rector. And then it's followed by the last portion of this, which is of course us gathering around the table in a Eucharistic celebration. The liturgy, the Eucharist, having Eucharist together and making that then the center reminds us all that at the heart of this is the relationship between me and the people of Trinity Church. In many cases, this is a place and a time for a congregation to actually get to know its rector. But in our case, we already know and love Phil. I'm rooted in being the pastor of this place. From weddings to baptisms to funerals, I am not going to stop doing any of that. That is what I love doing. That is what I've been doing for the last 28 years. And uh, that's what I'm gonna continue to do here because I love the people of this place. The great thing about anchoring ourselves in the traditions of the church uh, is it keeps us honest. It asks us to remember the responsibilities that come with this office, that we understand that that faith is meant to be put into action in our neighborhood, in our city, across the world. And that in the context of this liturgy, we recognize all of those things, we lift them up, but we do it with humility and with gratitude. And that's a message I think that the, the world would want to hear.